Way to go, Nintendo. Once again, you disrespect your core audience. Today, Nintendo, or should I say Scamtendo, announced the final Smash Bros. character to be Sora from Kingdom Hearts 3. To longtime fans of the Smash Bros. game, this is a slap in the face. I thought I told you not to put him in. Stupid Nintendo. When you put in Piranha Plant from Mario, I looked the other way. I said, okay, maybe they didn't have enough money this time. When you put in the Joker as a character, Wait a I didn't ask, why doesn't the character look like Joker that I love so much? I just said, okay, Nintendo is doing their own unique twist on an iconic character. Then you have the balls, the fucking brass balls to bring in Dragon Quest. And it's not Booga as a character. It's not Silvando. It's not the blue slime. It's not the dragon from Dragon Quest. It's the protagonist of Dragon Quest, a character that does not even have an official name. This is when I realized that Nintendo did not care about their longtime fans. In a desperation attempt, Banjo Kazooie is announced. They didn't even have the rights to him yet. Finally, a fucking video game character is in Smash Brothers. But then it goes to their heads. Who's next? Byleth. Byleth. The character, the, the, char the character, Byleth. I still haven't recovered from this. With that one, Nintendo said bye bye to any sense of self-respect. Byleth, a creative character from a game that released seven days ago? What's next? Are we gonna add my custom character from Tony Hawk's Underground? Fucking disgraceful. How did they redeem themselves? They put Min Min from a game that nobody has ever played. When this happened, I said to myself, well, looks like Nintendo was putting in the Min Min minimal amount of effort into these character selections, am I right or am I right? At this point, my respect for Nintendo was at the lowest it has ever been. To then, to add insult onto injury, Minecraft Steve is announced as a character. Fucking Minecraft, a children's video game for babies. Smash Brothers is a rated T game for brutal violence. Children cannot play this game, Nintendo, so once again, you've wasted another one of my character slots with your bullshit. But none of these terrible characters could have ever prepared me for what came next. Pyra from the disgraced pedophile baiting video game Xenoblade 2, a game where you play as a depraved sexual predator Furby who runs around enslaving hundreds of young women. This is what you think is acceptable to have in your fighting game aimed at toddlers who play Minecraft Nintendo? With this pick, Nintendo lost all respect. Thus begins a dark era for Smash Brothers. Years go by and nobody has touched the game. Then, breaking news, every Smash Brothers player is arrested for being a rapist. Sakurai's back is against the wall. He has no way out, until he says, Take it. Tekken and Smash. Now this is where I gained a lot of respect for Nintendo. Finally, I can play as my favorite character, Kuma from the Tekken series. Oh wait, it's not Kuma. It's not Paul Phoenix, it's not King, it's not Gan, it's not even Hihachi, it's fucking Kazuya. And this is where I lost all respect for Nintendo for the hundredth time this week. Then it is revealed that the next character will be the final DLC character added to the game. With this news, I am now haunted by the wasted slots. Memories of forgotten characters are launched to the forefront of my mind. Because of your poor decisions, Nintendo, we'll never see a real fighting game with Rayman as a playable character. We'll never see Gex tell Wario a joke about Val Kilmer's house. We'll never see Donkey Kong vs. Knack, Master Chief vs. Solid Snake, Crash Bandicoot vs. Captain Falcon. All of these dreams will die in the rain like a fucking idiot. So, how does Nintendo make amends? for all of its crimes against us by announcing Sora from the failed video game Kingdom Hearts 300 million divided by 83.2 weeks Remind. And with this announcement, I was reminded why I've lost all respect for Nintendo. Mark my words, Sakurai. I will never, ever play fucking stupid Super Smash Brothers again. I'm switching to the SpongeBob fighting game.